<laughs> Where's the baby? Uh oh, his hat fell off. It's been a while since we've been up here, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the last time. It's because I won't bring the kids up here. <laughs> Did we come up here when we were dating? Oh yeah, many times. We camped up here once. With your sisters. Oh, yeah. Her, yeah. There's a chasm between us. How will we mend it? <laughs> five years of marriage counseling. <laughs> five more years or yeah. just five years? Hey little dude. Hey Wilder. Hey Wilder. <gasps> what you doing? You busy down there with the leaves? You got something going on? He's so happy. Yeah. Good Kids are happiest outside in the dirt. They fight less, they whine less, they cry less. I want to give you a little kind of tour of this location. The, the furthest ridges down there are right on the line of Tennessee and in this direction you can barely see them but the furthest ridges there those are in South Carolina and uh, the furthest ridges here are actually in Tennessee so you can see three states. Brianna grew up down that away. I grew up here. We actually used to live right down here. Probably one of the closest houses this direction to where we are. We lived right down there. This behind me, pardon the wind, is a portion of the Asheville watershed, which I think is probably one of the most pristine watersheds in the southeast at least. And what you see right here, you can see there's a little lake right down there. The little lake is right there. And this is the protected land behind it, all the way to that high ridge back here. I can't, I don't know how many acres this is. This is several, a couple thousand acres right here. And this is actually just one valley. This is the small portion of the watershed. The larger portion is called the North, this is Bee Tree. The larger portion is North Fork over that ridge. And it's um, several times as big as this. Just to give you an idea of how big it is, it's a big triangle. And the Blue Ridge Parkway runs basically along the upper side of it. And that section of the Blue Ridge Parkway, one side of a triangle, is 15 miles long. your first time on the mountain top it's your first time up here <laughs> there's a secret hiding place under the rock it's this secret little spot off the trail no one even knows it's here yeah you can almost not see even though it's wide angle it's just so cool. Look way down there. Climbing down with 
Yeah. A camera and a baby? Yeah. While filming? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't think people realize the math skills it takes to do what you just do. I'm like holding up every tree I pass. Ow, I got a stick. Look at my show. Isn't this a cool spot? Look. This could be our thumbnail. Anyway, it's a cool spot. I've been up here before. If you've watched every single one of my videos, you saw the video where I camped underneath the rocks right down here, build a fire with a natural chimney. Or did you miss that episode? Hi. It's cold now. He's in love with you. Look at him. I Look, know. here, watch how I hand it to you. wanted to call you so bad to like come see but when he was taking his nap at home earlier and I put him in his crib mm -hmm. I was stuck like this mm -hmm. because he fell asleep but when I was putting him down he reached up and grabbed my hair right here mm. and if I made him let go he would have woken up so you stayed there for the rest of his nap <laughs> just for a few minutes oh. until he totally relaxed so I was like completely stuck like that with him pulling my hair that's funny Here's some liking for you, buddy. This will be his first taste of food. His first taste of It'll be his first any meal. It's gonna be liken. It's liking. We're gonna raise you as our wild child, my son. Here you go. This is this lichen that grows off the on the rocks up here. You'll find this laying around. He's not even putting it in his mouth. Reputedly it's edible. And I'm not recommending anyone actually eat this or that they try any lichen or anything they find in the woods for that matter, but Oh. <laughs> it's, it tastes like, like I've been eating this my whole life. Is it true? <laughs> I think all of our kids have eaten it too. It takes about 30 minutes to chew it. And then once <laughs> it's chewed, it's basically the consistency of sawdust. <laughs> and the flavor, on the bright side, it tastes just like dirt. <laughs> But there's something to it. It's a little rubbery when you chew it. And it makes me feel more... Paleo. Grounded. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> this is the hairy side, and this is the rubbery side. Don't eat it, though, if, if you can't positively identify it. what it is. I don't know what it is, so... Now let's go on our fancy date. All right, let's go.